As data continues to grow at an unprecedented pace, mainstream server environments that include database servers, email servers and web servers need a high level of performance and scalability. With the Intel RAID controllers of the RS3 family and Intel RAID modules of the RMS3 family, powered by LSI MegaRAID technology, organizations get next-generation SAS 3.0 12 gigabits per second performance, enterprise-class data protection, and scalability designed for mainstream server environments. The Intel RAID modules RMS3 CC040 and RMS3 CC080 are uniquely designed to offer advanced RAID and configuration flexibility to select Intel Xeon Processor E5 family-based server boards. Their 1U-capable mezzanine board form factor affords configuration flexibility by delivering a wide range of storage options without taking up a standard add-in card slot. The hardware installation of RAID controllers or RAID modules includes installing or connecting optional components, physical controller or module installation, cache backup unit location if present, and cable connection. To install the Intel RAID module with the Intel RAID Premium Feature Key and Intel RAID Maintenance Free Backup Unit 5, begin by locating the RAID Premium Feature Key header on the RAID module. Position the Premium Feature Key correctly and push downwards until properly seated. Locate the cache module above the connector and prepare to install. Once properly aligned, press downwards until properly seated and secure with two screws. The Super Capacitor Pack module can be connected when the mounting bracket is installed. Confirm that there is no power to the servo and install the barrel standoffs into the matching holes on the server board. Position the RAID module above the standoffs and gently but firmly press the card down until it is properly seated. Confirm the RAID module is correctly seated and insert the 4-pin standoffs into the barrel standoffs. All cables should be routed through the cable channeling between the chassis sidewalls and air duct sidewalls. Cables should never be routed through the center of the system or in the area between the system fans and dim slots. Connect the Minisas HD cables to the port allocations that match those from the RAID module or controller. Mounting points for the Super Capacitor Pack module can change based on the server chassis. In this instance, the Intel R2000 WT chassis family is used with mounting points on the air duct. Please note the correct bracket assembly supporting the battery unit and server chassis should be installed. In this instance, the metal bracket is mounted on the air duct and the plastic bracket clips into position to secure the Super Capacitor Pack module. Align the cable connectors to make sure they are connected correctly and insert the 9-pin connector of the super capacitor cable to the correct connector. Once installed, it may be necessary to update firmware on the Intel RAID controller or Intel RAID module. Navigate to the Intel support page and select the correct Intel RAID product and download the firmware update versions required. Read the relevant release notes and ensure that the supported hardware is present. The firmware update can be completed via the correct EFI shell environment or a supported operating system and command shell environment using Store CLI. As part of the storage planning process, it is strongly recommended that hard drives are selected from the tested hardware and operating system list, available from the support page for the Intel RAID product being installed. The Intel RAID BIOS Console 2 configuration utility and Intel RAID Web Console 2 configuration and monitoring utility support a wide range of RAID configuration and management tasks. The focus for this module is configuring Intel SSD Cache version 2 to promote optimal performance of hard disk drive based RAID arrays. Using the Intel SSD Cache Sizing tool to calculate the required SSD Cache capacity is essential as insufficient capacity could prevent the realization of full performance benefit. The Intel SSD Cache version 2 feature requires the Intel RAID Premium Feature Key to be installed as well as at least one solid state drive that will be used as a cache drive. The solid state drive should be addressable by the Intel RAID controller or Intel RAID module. Once the hard drives have been installed, connect to the operating system IP address using Intel RAID Web Console version 2. 
select the RAID controller or RAID module to configure, and create the RAID array required. Make sure that the volumes created have access to the SSD caching feature enabled. Navigate to the Dashboard tab, click on Create Cache Code SSD Caching, and select the SSDs that will be included in the SSD cache. Create the appropriate drive group and confirm the configuration is correct. Both RAID volumes in this instance will have access to the SSD cache feature based on prior configuration selections. Intel SSD cache can provide the optimal storage performance by intelligently and dynamically managing frequently accessed data and copying it from the hard drive volumes to a high performance layer of SSD cache. Copying the most accessed data to flash cache relieves the primary hard drive array from time consuming transactions, allowing for efficient hard disk operation, low latency and excellent read and write speeds. The Intel RAID controllers of the RS3 family and Intel RAID modules of the RMS3 family, powered by LSI MegaRAID technology, can be integrated with accessories to help ensure very high data protection and storage availability. These include backup units to protect the dynamic cache, cable kits to deliver small bend radius and high signal integrity, premium feature keys to allow for features such as disk encryption management of SSDs and Intel SSD cache version 2 for storage I.O. acceleration. Now that you have seen the configuration overview, when will you install and configure Intel RAID SSD Cache version 2?